welcome back guys so before we move into you know actual functionality development there is one small thing which i would like to finish uh, and that is the login uh, sorry the logout functionality once we log in into the dashboard you will understand that you know we are storing some of the information in local storage right and so when we log out this should ideally go away so uh, we will have a link in our menu something like logout button and we'll have to handle that so let's go to our component stop menu okay this is where um, i will add a button called logout okay and okay so this is an a link which is going to be a problem <clears throat> let me see if I can remove this and just have V on click equals handle logout. Okay, we need to create this method. Okay, so let's check out if we are able to do that. go to a console let me clear this and okay so i don't see a cursor here which i will later on handle with the uh, with css but that's fine so you know we are getting some uh, you know event on it wonder if I, I i think i can do it on this as well because you know uh, right now there is no uh, a link so that it doesn't make sense but fine I will change that later but the basic idea is we are triggering a function I can uh, okay why don't I do that actually um, the UI I think will look a little different yes okay so uh, yeah I'll, I'll continue with this I'll just add a cursor class in a tag so that you know i get that hand icon the pointer anyway so this is it now let me quickly understand what we need to do we need to obviously uh, you know, take the user back to the dashboard but before that we will have to clear the local storage data and also update our user store okay so if we see our store right now we have auth user okay and so we'll need to empty that as well so quickly go into user user store i'll just need the state and also so we'll just set that back to null okay All right, so what have we done? We have created a action which is clear auth user. Sorry. Okay, and we are calling in commit in that, and we are, you know, committing this mutation. And this mutation is basically, you know, uh, doing the setting the auth user as null. So, with that done, let us import this action here. Okay, sorry. Uh, in view 2.0, I mean view x 2.0, we don't need to do that. What we will do is this dot store dot dispatch and this function. Okay, and once we have cleared the view x data, we'll do window dot local storage dot i think it's delete item remove item or delete item uh, go with this okay 
okay let's try with remove item there um, i'm not able to remember the exact function but it's one of the two so anyways uh, what is the key it's auth user so all right so the vuex object is cleared the uh, local storage item is cleared let's save this okay and check out if we are able to clear that okay so this is deleted and so is our view object and that's the reason we don't see the menu okay so the only thing remaining is we need to take the user back to the home page or the login page right that can be done with this dot router dot push will have the name as sorry let's see the name was home so home. all right now this is not going to work will be taken back to the login page okay we hit the login button okay so now we have a user store auth object which is this we have our local storage data and when i click on logout i'm redirected back to the login page so yeah this was one thing which is pending and i you know thought of covering it up quickly uh, and in the next video we will look at creating a small chat application we will use the pusher service to broadcast events and we'll handle uh, the front end with Vue.js. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the videos, do click on the thumbs up icon and yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.